Hi team, this is Rob Koblenz here. Wanted to share with you a new system that we have hopefully to make things more streamlined and just simpler uh, when you come in. So um, I've made kind of a checklist. Uh, let me see if I have that here. Yeah, I have a computer checklist hopefully to help you guys and I'll have this out. I'll print it out and um, um, go over it with you if you need, if you have any questions. But basically these are just kind of some items that we need to um, kind of go over, you know, when we uh, start the service, when we're, or actually just before the service during the rehearsal Sunday morning, since uh, you guys typically don't come in, um, at least the computer volunteers, they don't come in on Wednesday night. So we'll need to do this Sunday mornings uh, during the rehearsal time. And we really need to make sure we take the time to go through each item in um, in in the in the service. So um, basically, we with that checklist, we need to go through all these items. Um, I don't have some of the items loaded here, like pre-service slides. They haven't been made yet this week, but I wanted to show you some new things. One of the new things that uh, I've done is I've created what's known as macros. Um, these guys right here. It's if you were to select over here on the M, you'll see these macros made, and basically they're just commands. You know, you can do multiple commands and you can drag and drop. So, for instance, on this background slide, I'm going to go ahead and remove this right now. I'm going to remove this macros. Um, if you look at this background slide, and uh, you notice that I've already got it already kind of mapped out with what it needs for both the stage display and the audience look. So it's just a matter of sliding this on to this particular um, item. So if you see that M there, and they're different colors for, as you can see, each color is different. Um, and we just want to make sure that these items have something. Now this has, uh, this is a song. Uh, for the most part, this you're you may not need to add a macros because I hope to have it all, you know, planned out for you beforehand. But if you have any questions about the song, certainly let me know. Um, and uh, but if if you notice, there's something on each of these. I don't have media here, so this would be something that I think I listed in the offering. Is there a verse? with media attached. In this case, there is no media attached. Um, and is there music attached? Well, as we had happen on last Sunday, there was no music during the offering time, and it was just, it was quite quite awkward. <laughs> so there should be music there. Um, sermon bumper, is there a sermon bumper? Well, there's nothing loaded here, so we need to make sure that that is not only attached, but is there um, macros attached? And so there is not. So that's something you would want to bring up to the worship leader, myself, or whoever's leading the worship. Um, and so each one of these have macros. Um, okay, here's another one. Living God, or living hope, sorry. <laughs> uh, you can see a big question mark on here. Well, that just means there's no media. Even though you see something, it's kind of grayed out a little bit, or it's... Uh, uh, what's that word? I'm going to think of it after this video. Um, well, anyhow, it's just kind of faded, but there's a big question mark. That means there's no media there. So if you were to click on this, as you can see here, front projectors, that's, you should see something. So that's something we need to be aware of. Is there actually something there? Is, is this the correct version? When I click on my MIDI pedal or... Uh, it, within Ableton, or if there's another worship leader that's clicking on the playback software from the platform, you know, you should be able to see something there. Um, so if not, you need to definitely talk to the worship leader and ask what, what should go there. If not, just add some media that you think uh, fits uh, well for that particular song. Um, you know, you can always talk to Joe and he can give you some feedback on maybe if you want to select something, you know, make sure it's, uh, you know, it's appropriate <laughs> for the song and et cetera. So anyhow, so that, that's something that, uh, we'll need to, uh, 
uh, make sure that we're doing every week is the you know for here the message the message isn't even attached you know we need to make sure that's attached that there's macros attached um, as you can see that this over here message you just drag that in so um, uh, one other thing Jared had has been working really hard on making things a little easier for for each of us um, and on our stream deck you'll notice this right here it says MIDI connect okay um, on that stream deck which is actually located to the right of this iMac uh, you'll notice this button here if you connect that MIDI connect and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it right now you can't see me hitting it but I'm gonna hit it and watch what happens okay so what it did is my computer is up on the stage and it connected it automatically to that um, computer there so um, so really appreciate Jared and his work uh, to make that simpler because um, if you may remember the way we did it previously is we'd have to open audio MIDI setup hit this globe and sometimes we'd have to hit show you know it would it would be let's just do this again show MIDI studio we'd have to hit this globe and we'd have to hit window show MIDI studio um, I was hoping that it would do that again but it didn't Anyhow, and then you hit this and then hit connect well he got rid of all that and just did it with one button so thank you very much Jared for making that possible and he's also gonna I think he's working on a timer uh, so you just hit that button for the timer and that'll show so um, so we're looking to hopefully make things a little streamlined, more streamlined, a little simpler for all of us. And um, yeah, that's all. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for all you do.